Um, this is Elaine. Elaine, I want you to begin by, you're going to have to speak into that mic. I want you to begin, Elaine, by pronouncing for me your last name. <laughs> Elaine Haldevere. Well, we're not too fast. Elaine what? Haldevere. Haldevere, okay. Now, Elaine Haldevere has been coming to our church for about a year and a half, okay. She is planning in the very near future to join our church through baptism. Yes. yes, amen. Elaine is an environmental professional. Yes. And she has also already lectured to us in the past about our environment, haven't you, Elaine? That's correct. Now, Elaine, Elaine tells me, she and I had a little talk this week. Elaine tells me that she was never, ever really much interested in organized religion. Not at all. Not never. at all interested. No. Nope. But yet, as a young woman, she still had this craving in her heart, this emptiness, this need for purpose and meaning in life. And so that search for purpose and meaning in your life, Elaine, led you to a movement that is very well known today in this world, which is a counterfeit to Christianity. What is that movement that you were led to? Um, the New Age movement. Okay, so you were led to the New Age movement, and you were in that movement for, for many, many, many years, right? That's correct, about 20 years. About 20 years in the New Age movement. Now, what, can you just share with us briefly, what led you to this movement? Well, as, as the pastor said, um, I've never really had uh, any inclination for organized religion. I always felt um, the examples that I had seen are Catholic Church, and I never really connected to that since I was a little girl. Um, with my parents, since I was a little girl, I've always knew there's been a God, there is a God, but I've never had a strong connection with God. I know He's there, but that was it. Um, I've always been raised in a way that you do good, um, you know, you don't steal and, and those type of things, and you do what's right, and uh, that's about it. Um, but going into the point where you really have a day-to-day, one-on-one connection, I really never had that. So, you know, God is always knocking on the door of our heart, and then we listen and we don't listen. And sometimes, even though He's knocking, we go different ways and we don't go necessarily the right way right away. So for me, I know He's been knocking for a long time, but. I went in the new, new, new age direction, and uh, while I was there, I found what I thought made sense because I'm a very inquisitive type of person. I've always asked a lot of questions, so um, in my quest to find that deeper connection, I found pieces here and there, and I was connecting the dots myself instead of realizing that the dots are already connected, and I didn't have to do that. All I had to do is just follow the Bible, and that's it, make it simple for myself. Um, but uh, I didn't go that way. So, um, so you, in essence, what you're saying is, that, which is very, very, very profound, you sense a great need in your life for God. Correct. You wanted a connection with God. Yes. And somehow you felt, because maybe it's friends that you met, that the New Age would help you in getting that connection to the Lord. That's correct. Now, when you joined the New Age movement, obviously you found some things in there that were beneficial to you. Yes. But then you noticed that some things were not at all what you thought they would be. They didn't really bring that kind of relationship or connection to God that you thought. No. It, you know, like in, the pastor and I, we do Bible studies because he's preparing for my ba baptism. And since I do ask him a lot of questions, we have a lot of long discussions every Thursday night. And um, one of the things that I asked the pastor, how is it that um, the new age, when you are into that, you see things that make sense? You know, the new age talks to you about love, talks to you about do, do good to each other. Um, so those things are all in line with what the Bible says. Um, and there's many other instances that the New Age also tells you things that are in line. Tells you, it does tell you that there is a God, but like I said before, it doesn't let you connect to the one-to-one -one relationship that we all long to be with God. Um, and that's basically, you know, the misleading. I mean, mm -hmm. you, at least for me, 
I knew that I was learning because I always like to learn new things. So I was learning things. What I didn't know is that those things that I, were, that I was learning, though, they had some true value in the sense, you know, love for God, love for each other. They don't let you truly connect to God and realize that Jesus is the way to God. And that's the ma major counterfeit. So when you get into that circle, that's the biggest um, pitfall because you think you're connecting, but you never do mm. because it's just a lie. And then that's what it is. So. And also, as you, you were sharing with me, the new age, not only is, is what you're saying, it, they big, they're big on the reincarnation. Yes. Uh, spiritualism, the occultism, yes. and all yes. that kind of stuff that we talked about. I talked about a few weeks ago, if you will remember. So I'm glad you were here to listen to that. Oh, when now, I listen to it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's know it. that. <laughs> that's it. Now, along the way there, though, some time back, about about three years ago, I think it was, that you met a member of this church. Do you know who that yes. lady is? Okay. My dearest Elba. <laughs> Elba. Elba Hernandez. You met her about three years ago. And about, in your friendship, yes. she eventually invited you to come to church. That's of course, which you did. Yes. And about a year and a half ago, you started coming to church. Yes. Um, what then eventually, if we can go back, just what disillusioned you with the New Age movement? Can you just tell us briefly what disillusioned you with the, the, the New Age movement? Well, it's the fact that you, you want to get closer, but you don't get closer to God. And then when you go through tribulations in your life, you 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 have that need to be closer so um one of the things in my life is that uh, uh i used to be a workaholic i work like crazy like crazy woman um and it's just work 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 and in that working um i had already met elba and um i was praying to god like help me you know i know this is not the right way but what is the right way? Guide me, guide me, guide me. And uh, one thing leads to another. Elba, we had already been friends. And uh, she invited me here. We came one afternoon, Sabbath afternoon. There was a special service going on. And then, um, then we went to another service with Pastor B Bouillon. And then he had a service. And then... Um, at the end of the service, Elba and I were sitting at the beginning of the, the row, and then at the, almost towards the end, he made a call to see who wanted to accept Jesus, and before I knew, I was in the front. I Amen. don't, I don't Amen. even know when I got up or anything. All I know that I was there, Amen. and then Elba was like, what happened? <laughs> but it, was, it just happened. I, like I said, I don't even know how I got up. I just know that I was there, Amen. and then since that day, I have that connection, and it's... it's and I, you're growing. You've yes. been growing since. Uh, yes, Isn't that wonderful? indeed. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, she, she has shared that with me before and with some of you as well, that she does have a problem with balance. And you know what? Hello. I think there are a lot of other people here with the same problem of balance. You don't know how to balance things in life. And her issue was with work, work, yes. work. Yes. She was an alcoholic or well, maybe no, no. still working. Workaholic. Workaholic. With a W. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, <laughs> workaholic. Okay, now Elaine, we just want to praise God with you. Yes. And I know that God is speaking to you. Yes. He's preparing you. Yes. And you're going to be soon a member of this church, and we just praise God yes. for that. Can I say that? One more thing? Yeah. Okay. One more thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that um, one of the nights that Pastor Lou and I had Bible study, and we were talking about it, the New Age and all that, in I'm telling you, it's about 20 years, so that's a long time. And I like to read a lot, and I read very, very fast, a lot of books. So after we had that discussion about New Age and, and um, Satan being the greatest counterfeit and that, how things look to be right when in reality they're not, that night I went back home and I went to my room where I have all my books. I took all my books out and I threw them away. Mm. I also, you know, since I work in the environmental field, I was like, okay, do I put it in a recycling bin or do I put it in the trash? <laughs> so I was tempted to put it in the recycling bin, but I said, no, I don't want anybody to get caught into this. So I threw them all in the garbage, Amen. and then um, and that's all where they are. It's all garbage. Amen. 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 And the people said, Amen. 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 Thank that's you it. so much. Thank okay. you. Really appreciate your powerful testimony.